Hello and welcome to CAD Graphics Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you the basics of HTML code writing and explain Dreamweaver and how to create websites using notepads. Alright, to start off I'll just explain a few things. You can write HTML codes in fancy Dreamweaver or other, whatever other web page software you got. But you also can create basic web pages in Notepad. I'll just quickly show you how to do that and then we'll go on to a bit more in Dreamweaver. Alright, obviously you first need to open up a notepad. Okay, when it comes to HTML code writing, there is a structure to the code. The structure looks like this. As you can see, all the HTML codes written are under the HTML tag. This is because the HTML tag defines to the web server that it is a HTML web page. As you can see also the heading and the paragraphs are under the body tag to define to the web server that it is the body. This structure is always used for whatever web design you are doing. Okay before we head into Dreamweaver I'll just show you some basics on the HTML code writing on Notepad. Okay when you've opened Notepad you do have to type in to define to the web server that is going to be a HTML. By doing that, you type in what I've typed in here, the exclamation mark, doc type, HTML, and HTML again. Okay, I'll show you a few things and a few tips on HTML code writing. Alright, we first are going to have to define that we want to write the body, so we do the body tag. Now, we want a title to the page, so the title is in one of the headings, there's either H and there's H1, H2, but the biggest heading you can get is H1. Type in H1 and type in your title. So this is title of test. Then you have to end that H tag by doing the forward symbol there and then H6. Okay. To define to the web server that you want a new line the tag br is added which that is just br that defines that it, you are writing on a new line the, to write the paragraph of it it is defined by the p tag so you just do the p tag this is paragraph sorry about my spelling of test and then just end that p tag Okay, now that you've got your, well, it's not really a web page, but what you want on your web page, you have to end the body and the HTML tag you read up here. All tags you write have to be ended, besides the BR tag is an exclusion. The, the, all the tags are ended by just the forward slash, which I've written here. So you just have to write the forward slash HTML and then the forward slash body tag. Alright, to make this notepad a web page, you're gonna have to save it. Save as and save it as test or whatever you want to call it, and you gotta save it as a dot HTML. Okay, if you then go to where you just saved it, my documents, oh they've got a lot of documents but if you find it, well, there it is here for me, test and to open it, it'll open it in a new web page there you go, this is title of test that is it alright, that's enough for notepad, I'll start teaching you some Dreamweaver which is a bit more, it's the same but it helps you out and it can, you can do more advanced things on Dreamweaver alright, open up Dreamweaver and create new HTML and there you go. HTML has already written the codes for you as you can see. This is more advanced meta tags which you do not need to worry about but um, usually you just delete them. Delete everything just because yeah, we're doing a basic website. I'm just typing the tags again that we did earlier so there's a doc type HTML. Doc type 
I'm really bad type, aren't I? Then just do the HTML tag. As you can see, Dreamweaver knows every tag on HTML. So you can just start typing a bit of the tag and it will do the rest for you. Body. Okay, we'll just type in the codes we did on here. Same codes as Notepad, just so I can show you how Dreamweaver works. But how it does work by you type in your codes here on the left when you're in split view and whatever you just typed in comes up as the web page version on the right hand side. So if I do heading one, this is title test and just end that tag because you've just ended the heading. But what if you do, if you do straight away the forward slash tag it automatically knows what you just um, wrote and ends the tag for you. I'll just do the BR again. BR. And then P for the paragraph. And this is paragraph test. And then see how when I press the forward slash now, it automatically ends it for me? Because it automatically knows that P is the only tag that hasn't been ended yet. Alright, just do your other ones. Just press forward slash again and it'll end it for you. Do the same again. There you go, it all finds out. But now to see what you've just written on the codes and you want to see how it'll come up on a web page, just click refresh and that is what it would look like on a web page. As you can see, it doesn't look like a web page. Not much. If I get rid of this BR tag, it might look a tad bit better, but. Yeah, it looks a bit better. <laughs> but yeah, alright, I'll teach you some simple web coding now that you can, you will learn in the future. Just start off, I get put this body in HTML tag down there so it doesn't get in your way. Alright, what you can also do, alright, a few things. The tag to link something, like you want to link text to another website, if you have to type in a space H R E F. I just hit enter because Dreamweaver already knows the the tag. And then what you can do browse enter. And then you can type look for the document you want to tag it to, or you can close it. And then you just type in the web page. So I'll just type in my own personal web page, CAD Graphic Tutorials. Dot com. And then to write text that I want the text link to for this, the uh, that sign, and then just write your text. So link to web page, and then you just got to end the a tag because the a tag hasn't ended, but it should automatically do it. There you go. And that there is linked, as you can see, to my web page. So if I open that which you can't unless you go to file preview in browser oh, I must save it to put into the browser so I'll just quickly do that yes I'll just quickly save as untitled one there you go it just came up in here there you go if I just click on the link here I just made a link to web page it would come up to my web page Alright, that's the link um, tag explained. Now how to edit insert images and videos. Start off with IMG, which stands for image, SRC, and then enter again, and then browse for the video, press enter for the browse for the video you want to insert. So just click it, look for what page you want. I'll do my logo if I can find it, because I have so much stuff. Um, actually, is that it? No, that's terrible logo. I'd like to mess around a lot. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter. I'll just do... I got a picture of a coil from one of my recent videos. So, put that in there. Press space. And what you can also do, you can define the width and the height and the so much, so much, like, grayscale of it. 
If I was a teacher, I'd just type in the width. So just type in width. See how come it's already there? Ooh, width. Sorry, just type it in, width. You gotta do your yeah, two dashes. Type in the width you want it to be. So we'll do 500 pixels. Height. Uh, we want to let's do 500 by 500. And then after you've written the width and the height, then you have to just go like that. And there you go, the image is in. What you can also do, you can link with that that image to something else, like we just did in the last tag here. Well, I'll show you that later. Um, as the web page doesn't look so good, there is a few fancy tools you can do. Like under the title, if you want a simple line, HR tag, refresh, and then a vertical line, and then you start making your heading banner and so much and so much. I think that'll wrap us up for today's um, tutorial, but there will be more future tutorials on more advanced and how to gradually get your way into developing and hosting your website and professionally designing it. Thanks for listening, guys. Please subscribe if you did enjoy and give me a thumbs up. Hope to see you another time.